Hey everyone, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity. And I'm here in Silhouette Studio today and my, everything's acting really weird. I mean, I can't get this circle to go where I want to no matter how hard I try because it's just, you know, jumping around and acting all wonky on me. Have you ever had this problem? I have, countless others have, and I wanted to share with you today how you can fix this situation in Silhouette Studio. So in your page setup panel up here on the right hand side, you have some different options. You have your setup for your machine, your cutting mat, your media size. And if you click on the second tab in that setup panel, you have a couple of different options here. And actually there's more options, but we won't be talking about all of those today. But the reason that this is jumping all over the place is something called Snap to Grid. Now, if I go over here, I can do a couple of different things. I can show my grid, but and I can uncheck that and, and have my grid not showing. But you can see that this is still jumping all over. But now, if I uncheck the snap to grid option, now my shape is moving freely. So if you're having trouble with that in Silhouette Studio, go to your page setup panel and uncheck that snap to grid option. And now my problem is solved. So let's look at one of the ways that you could use snap to grid in Silhouette Studio. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take a um, the rectangle drawing tool and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to draw a square in one of those grids and I'm going to color this black. Now I have my grid set up at one inch by one inch or one inch and then divisions of one inch. And so I basically have 12 by 12 um, squares all the way around. Now this is certainly a design that you can resize, but um, I just wanted to show you how you could do this with those one inch squares. Now this is um, just a really simple pixel art that we're going to go ahead and you can see that this, this square will snap to my grid lines depending on where I place them. And remember, when I draw it, I just go ahead and I, you know, pop it in there and you can kind of, it's not like you feel it click or anything, but you can, you can definitely tell that it's, it's snapping. And so let's delete that one and I'm going to go ahead and create my little piece of pixel art. And I might speed this up through part of the video, but you can hold down your Alt key and you can see that it changes to like a little um, crosshairs thing and a little sort of arrow. And when you click on left click on your mouse and you hold down the Alt key at the same time and you just drag, you can you can duplicate that that square in another grid space. So let's go ahead and just continue to create here for a minute, holding down our Alt key and dragging, and then just kind of filling in this design the way I want it to be. And now for this one, I want to make this a longer one so it'll snap to the grid if I just um, lengthen it here. And then I can continue on creating the rest of my design. And I'm going to select by holding down my shift key, all of these, except for these two in the center, 
and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold down Shift, Alt, and my end key or right arrow key. And while that's still selected, I'm just going to drag it over into the next grid spaces. And now you can see that I have like a little heart here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw another rectangle and I'm going to color this one and you can use any color you want. I'm just going to make it red for now and I'm going to drag this down into some of these spaces. to do a little shading on my little pixel art. So let's go ahead and group this and turn off our snap to grid. And now I can move this around, um, resizing it. And you could save this, like say as a PNG, and you could use it to create a sticker or you know, maybe something that you want to place in a video. And so this is just one really fun way that you can use that Snap to Grid in Silhouette Studio. So let's say I wanted to create a dot pattern in Silhouette Studio. And let's check our Snap to Grid. And let's go ahead and take that circle again, or that ellipse tool, and let's go ahead and just draw a circle and you can see that it snaps perfectly into that one inch grid and I have a one inch circle. So if I wanted to continue on to make a pattern, I can hold down my Alt key and when I hold down my Alt key, I believe that's options on a Mac, you can drag with your mouse and you can fill in those dots and here you can see I have one inch of spacing in between and I can drag it again and you can see I have one inch of spacing in between. I could put it in every square if I want to, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and go across and keep on making my dots. And now I can go ahead and I can add these into like every other row here. just holding down my Alt key and dragging. Now if I want to duplicate a row, I can just grab all the dots in that row and I can hold down my Alt key and pull them down and they'll snap right to the next grid area. And I can go ahead and I can do the same thing here. And I could grab all of these and drag them down. And now I have my grid pattern all in place. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a, rect or a square from this area down here to this area down here. And when I do that, it snaps to that grid and let's color that in, I have a perfect square. I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and I'm going to send it to the back. And I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to make a compound path. And now I have a stencil, let's uncheck our snap to grid, that I can cut out and use like say on, uh, to stencil a sign or to stencil on a card. And I've created other patterns in a similar way using this technique. Things like buffalo plaids or gingham checks are made really easy this way. And then you can export them as say a, a PNG and bring them back into Silhouette Studio and use them on your projects. So another neat thing that you can do with your snap to grid is that down here in your spacing you can add divisions to your grid. So here I have it already set for one 
inch and just one division. So I have the 12 inches here and the 12 inches here. But I can set as many divisions as I want. So, so two would give me like half inch squares and four would give me quarter inch squares. And I can create the color grid lines that I want. So say I want my primary lines to be um, pink and my secondary lines to be gray. I can do that. And let's go ahead and zoom in here. And now if I draw a rectangle, I want to draw my rectangle like four and a quarter inches. So you can see I have my four and a quarter inches. And then I can drag it down to five and a quarter inches, or if I want to five and a half inches for the um, front of an A2 card base. And this isn't the only way you can resize things. Um, you have, you know, your option up here in your quick access toolbar or over here in your transform panel. You know, to scale things to a certain size. But this is just a really easy way that you can, can do it without having to even think about it. So that's just a little bit today about Snap to Grid. Remember, if you want to turn that annoying thing off, you can go ahead here to your Snap to Grid and you can just uncheck it. And now your images will move freely around your design area. And of course, as always, if you want to, you don't have to show your grid at all. And that's one of the ways that I really like designing in Silhouette Studio. So I hope this video was helpful to you today in that you can turn on and off that Snap to Grid feature in Silhouette Studio, but that you know that there's also a purpose for it in using it to align shapes and make patterns and that as time goes on that you might try some of these techniques yourself. If you like this video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up and that you'll subscribe to my channel for more Silhouette Studio tips and tricks. And I'll leave a link to my Say It With Simplicity crafting group down in the description box below so that you can go there and if you want to, you can ask questions, get feedback on your projects, and just share in our little community of crafters over there on Facebook. So I hope that you'll have a great day and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye now.